Let's take a closer look at our spring damper problem. Um, we'll look at this uh, row of uh, calculations here because that's showing the current position uh, or the, that, that, that's the current time step, TC, current time step. And uh, X0 is the position of the base. If I jolt, then X0 changes. I push back. So that's that's all the jolt button's actually doing, is changing the start position. Uh, F is a force value, and that's the force acting on this mass here. And because it's simple harmonic motion, uh, the force acting on here is dependent upon the extension of the spring uh, and the velocity of the damper. So there's a velocity term here and there's an x term here and the x term relates to the end position of the spring and t is simply a, a point in time. Now uh, those positions are drawn on this scatter chart here. Now the scatter chart uses uh, it uses sprites so in this case we can let's change the mass to a smaller mass you can see how all that's happening is what we've we've changed uh, the sprite there's actually uh, a number of sprites that exist off the page uh, and uh, as I change the uh, mass button uh, then uh, that's kind of the position of the sprite is moved to the position uh, here so that's how we managed to animate the size of mass um, and the rest of the drawing is really just made up, it's, it's a normal scatter graph, it's drawing lines between points or, or drawing curves between points in the case of the spring. Um, there's uh, a whole series of values down here though, which uh, is uh, simply a, a record of previous velocities and previous uh, positions and obviously previous times as well. Now the way the calculation works is that it uses the previous time step to estimate the force acting uh, at the current time step. So if we take a look at our um, link here, we have a, a link to a, a page on Wikipedia and if we go there. We can see these equations here for, um, for simple harmonic motion and I guess this is the equation that it all uh, revolves around. If I go back to my um, Excel spreadsheet now, uh, you can see that um, this equation here is a stiffness term times an extension. Uh, so that's one of the terms in simple harmonic, uh, um, uh, simple harmonic uh, motion equation. And this one here is a damping term times a velocity. Now they both relate to the previous time step and obviously if you, if you keep the time step small then the velocity of the previous time step is quite close to the velocity of the current time step. So we can work out the force acting on here and using Newton's second law we know that force is mass times acceleration and we can back work that uh, and solve for uh, the current velocity and the color, current uh, position. So all that happens when we press the start pause button is that that calculation is repeated many many times. All the calculations actually just appear in three cells and when we uh, press the start pause button it just copies this value uh, down um, through the table and it keeps a record of them. And this record of previous, um, previous positions is actually plotted here. So that's how we um, managed to produce our trace of um, uh, our trace of previous points and that's how we managed to create the animations all good stuff um, very well worth uh, just thinking through uh, if you want to create simulation problems of your own thank you for listening